All right, let's head over to Chief Meteorologist David Carnes now. David, is that heat wave that they're talking about, is that going to be hitting us anytime soon? Do we need to be stacking up on our water? Yeah, nothing like uh, that. Uh, take a look. You can see 74 degrees outside right now, uh, but the heat potential for Wednesday, all of those spots that they were talking about earlier, uh, all of this red highlighted is where we will have the greatest potential for 100 degree uh, excessive heat uh, temperatures. So that's in the southwest, but it also extends all the way over into Texas and well up into the plain. So it's going to be another nasty one for the same folks uh, tomorrow that experienced it today. So take a look. We do have the foxes eating watermelon. We love that also have the beautiful Dahlia in Jasper. How about that? And then 90 degrees, our forecast high. We made it up to 89 degrees. So yeah, we'll call that a win for the three degree guarantee and put another $10 in the jackpot. Now up to $100. You could win it, but you have to register at local3news.com slash three dash degree. Tomorrow, a sizzling 91. We're going to start to bring that moisture back into the forecast. Okay, check this out. A busy bee in Collegedale doing its thing. Thank you, thank you uh, Randy Rockholt, for sending that in. We also have uh, Asiatic lilies in Hickson. Beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that something? Karen Dale, I am sure that is just one of the many beautiful flowers that you have. You can send pics to weather at local3news.com. We like to get them and put them on. It's going to be another nice one Wednesday. We will start to notice that humidity building in the afternoon, though. Tomorrow morning, that's going to be the time to get stuff done. Humidity and storms will return Thursday in full force, and then we're going to have the same basic pattern through the weekend. So right now we're 77 in Chattanooga, 70 in Cleveland, Dalton at 71, 69 in Blue Ridge and 72 in Scottsboro. Our day plan are showing us starting out nice 66 degrees, getting into the upper 80s and low 90s for the afternoon. You can see the clouds building late in the day, and that's where we're going to start to see that humidity building as well. So our radar and satellite showing nothing major out there. You see the high pressure keeping us nice and dry. Uh, as that high moves eastward, though, we're going to see more of a southerly wind flow late Wednesday, bringing in some additional moisture. Now notice we have some storms, scattered storms off to our west. Uh, those are going to wash out before they get to the Chattanooga area. So I think we'll start out Thursday dry and then a few scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up for our Thursday afternoon, especially the further east you go. Moving into Friday, spotty showers and storms very muggy. Guess what? Saturday on and off through the day, we may have some pop up showers and thunderstorms. I wouldn't cancel any Saturday plans. I would have an indoor alternative ready to go, though. And then as we move into Sunday, I'm dropping the rain chance down to 20%. Might even drop it lower than that if this model data persists where we're where we're showing no rain at all on Sunday. I'm not completely convinced we won't have anything, but I am putting it at 20%. So pick day of the weekend to get stuff done is going to be Sunday. So pleasant evening and a great morning. We'll drop down into the low to mid 60s, even the 50s up in the Blue Ridge. And then tomorrow, 91 for the high, mostly sunny and hot upper 80s and low 90s everywhere you go. That humidity builds late Wednesday into Thursday, and then we're in the soup once again Thursday through the beginning of next week with that ever-present chance of spotty showers and thunderstorms. Cornelia.